I like always when there is a person giving me the thumbs up. It always gives me motivation. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, LibreOffice Online new features. Um, I actually work for Collabora, or Collabora. <laughs> uh, um, sorry for my Portuguese accent there. <laughs> um, uh, but who is Collabora, actually? Um, we have our Collabora parent, uh, parent company, which does, does a lot of good stuff regarding um, flaws in um, VR, but also a lo really cool games um, on Linux. Then you can just take a photo, or I can just send this uh, presentation, you can check those links out. Um, and Col Collabora Productivity, which is actually uh, my company, my company, the company I work for. <laughs> um, uh, we uh, focus, uh, our main focus is um, LibreOffice Libre development, uh, both core and uh, online. Um, and we are uh, a major contributor uh, to LibreOffice. Um, now, what is Collabora Online? Collabora Online is our effort um, in developing uh, LibreOffice Online, so every, everything everything we do, um, we commit, we push. So you can <coughs> you can check our um, our uh, Git, our commits in the Garrett. Um, and we have uh, at the same time clients, right? Um, and we do, we do consultancy, right? And support on on, on that uh, field. Um, Exactly. Uh, we are the driving force behind putting LibreOffice in the cloud, right? That's the name um, of this presentation. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this photo is in uh, Cabo de Gata, which, which was in uh, Spain uh, in the last uh, LiboCon, which was great. We had a lot of fun. Uh, as you see, my really happy face here, uh, slightly tired. Um, uh, and that's it. As, as, as I said, we really contribute a lot, both for uh, core, but uh, specifically or in a, in a more uh, strong manner to uh, the online branches, right? Um, now, uh, Collabora Online does a lot of cool stuff, and I'm slightly a fun boy. So I'm t I'm, my, my effort here is trying to make this presentation slightly unbiased, but it's very difficult for me, so <laughs> sorry for that. Um, yeah, it's, it's about viewing and editing collaboratively uh, documents, not only ODF documents, but having this excellent uh, interoperability with uh, Microsoft formats, which is something many people request. Even yesterday I was talking uh, with a couple of dudes there and they keep, this question keeps uh, being asked, right, in, in our conversations. Um, a lot of other cool stuff like import filters, um, really powerful rendering. Um, but this, this topic is it's, uh, really important and it's um, Normally, our um, first step in our conversation, it's the on-premise uh, solution, which is with um, Collabora Online, you just, you just get your uh, office suite, and you can then choose uh, to, to, to have it in your own server uh, at your house, or uh, choose uh, one of our many partners um, that are focused on hosting, right? Um, next cloud, own cloud, there are really many, many of them, uh, and they have r great um, integration with their own uh, solutions and with their own uh, applications, right? Um, and, um, of course, uh, we are always focused on our architecture, not just, uh, not just in, the, in terms of performance, uh, but security. So, uh, mind you, this is a presentation of one hour, I'm trying to fit everything in, in half hour. If I don't manage, please, later, uh, come to me and we will take a coffee and we can discuss and, you know, talk about also other cool things. Um, also the games in the beginning, right? So, um, our main motto is exactly this one, is uh, make open source rock. Like, it's already 
uh, right? That's the current situation. Uh, but we are trying to improve our best, or we are trying to uh, contribute for, 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 um, for this um, goal. Again, this, this photo is in Cabo de Gata, in our um, uh, last LiboCon uh, conference. And this is, uh, you know, my colleagues. <laughs> um, yes, and, uh, you know, I need a, I'm a designer, but I need to have one slider with a blockchain in it, right? Like, otherwise, it wouldn't be that powerful. Uh, no, but uh, jokes aside, uh, we have many uh, integrations, as, as I was speaking before, uh, about this, uh, um, about our um, partners, customers, and that's it. Many of these really cool partnerships uh, give birth to these cool integrations, right? This is one of them, uh, and I do try to give proper, um, proper credit to my specific colleague or colleagues, uh, I hope I didn't forget anyone, but then, you know, they will yell at me when I, when I go back. <laughs> um, yeah, so everything is about rich document uh, collaboration. Uh, but collaboration is not just, it's not just one, uh, one plain field, right? It's not just about editing. It's also about viewing. It's also about viewing the other editing. So there is a lot of um, perspectives, if you will, that we should account for, and we should design uh, with that in mind. Um, so <clears throat> I will try to focus in this presentation, um, trying to show you some use cases and some improvements we have been doing, um, you know, since the beginning, and hopefully lately. Um, that effort, it's, it's really visible, right? And it's, and it's appreciated. So, th simple things like uh, watermark right now uh, in Collabora Online with just a browser, it's as easy as go format, watermark, and you can just uh, edit the text, change the font, um, switch the, 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 the rotation, and bang. With like two clicks, you are there. So we are always counting. Um, um, you know, user clicks, uh, user flows, um, and, and in, in real case scenarios, right? So we use also the feedback from um, our, our clients, uh, and we try to <laughs> iterate above that, right? Um, another component that it's, it's quite important, it's uh, toolbars, right? It's where our tools are and where we uh, go for it when we want to edit, when we want to uh, change stuff. So. We have, be, we have been um, evolving, uh, trying to uh, make it um, clear, easier to, to reach some uh, actions, uh, shortcuts. And this is visible not only with our um, complete new icon theme, but uh, also very important to know the, dif the use of color and the use of shapes to um, give priority to the actions, right? So suddenly we don't have all the icons screaming for our attention. There is a couple of icons um, that they should be slightly high priority, other icons, uh, actions that should be low priority. So you see that we have uh, some uh, accent color here uh, grouping or helping grouping these actions. Of course, they are grouped in space, but they are also grouped in, in, in this type of color. Uh, any, any action that is slightly uh, uh, interactive, not so much uh, regarding producing content, but interactive towards the content, uh, we, sh we use this uh, accent color, right? Um, and then we have, for instance, a specific uh, color that we use for a, a, a main action. Uh, we would call a really high priority uh, action, for instance, save the documents, uh, even though and that's a funny story, even though we actually don't need that icon, right? Because uh, we, are, we have auto-saving going on, right? And it saves uh, the document. We even have versioning. So, you know, but the, the cool thing is that we have power users, new users. We have many different types of users. So we need to account for that, right? And we need to welcome not only these new users that never use this, 
but also the power user that just wants to go very quickly, a uh, format, uh, watermark, and bang, is done, right? Uh, and that's it. And you even see here, um, this is a specific uh, different type of, of comments. It's not really for, uh, comments. This is uh, about the, the tracking changes, right? And the tracking changes do work online. Um, and yes, I took this screenshot yesterday, and it was locally, and you know, uh, didn't that picture, John? So sorry for that, John. Uh, but toll bar is not just about the, the the tools that we can use, but it's also about the tools that we 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 use to view the documents. Again, is this duality between editing, viewing, and viewing? Who is editing, right? So the bottom tool bar should also have some love, right? So we 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 did some really cool stuff here. For this in writer, uh, not only you have the the generic uh, information, but you do also have the information about the, the insert mode, right? Uh, if, if the user uh, press the insert or not, it is quite useful, for instance, in the, account, in the accounting, right? Or, and this is a big, a, you know, it's these small things that really interest me, right? <laughs> um, you know, this, this, this little triangle here, right? Um, in, many, in many other cloud solutions, there is a big problem trying to change the language of the document. And I'm not saying just selection, the language of the document, right? And there is file, menu, go, and where is it? Users that come from other office suites that are slightly lost. Uh, here, not only we offer the, 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 uh, you know, the classic solution uh, through the menus, but you, we also have here, with one click, you can change the language of the whole document, done. Right, so there is these small things that we are trying to tweak. It's not just about the icons, but it's about the easy to use um, of these features, right? It doesn't matter if we have a, <laughs> a solution full of features, and if they are not really discoverable, they actually don't matter, right? Um, and uh, the, same th the same thing is true uh, in Calc, right? Uh, not only we have all the information here, but we also have um, Options like um, um, uh, to navigate in the in the in the style sheets. For instance, here I even have a screenshot of a previous version where we didn't have that solution, right? Uh, that we still have that solution uh, to go through the menus. So we do iterate and we do try to improve. Um, and then there is a lot of cool stuff here, right? <laughs> um, uh, a lot of um, advanced features you can you get uh, right from the toll bar. Uh, information about um, when it was modified the document, and then please do not forget these small things. We will come back later, right? Uh, this styling uh, through borders, um, these handlers, and even these advanced features on the side pane. Everything in your browser. Uh, working with tables, yeah, since we are talking about spreadsheets, we couldn't talk uh, about this uh, without mentioning tables. Um, and that's exactly what I was saying. Uh, when we work with, with, with tables, uh, we really focus um, our attention to um, the way we, for instance, change the size of the, of the rows of the... Of the um, of all these small elements, and even give um, missing states, right? Overstate uh, when in the desktop, but as well, we didn't forget um, how, how our users see it online. And so we even prepared special handlers that are easy to grab, easy to drag on mobile. Uh, and this, this is especially important when we are working in a spreadsheet, especially um, on mobile. Um, and when I, when I was talking about this styling, right? Do, so don't forget about this styling, these borders. That's exactly it. Um, on this side, you see just um, a fixed set of options, and that's it. And you need to do whatever you want to do with that, right? Uh, and on this side, you can, you can do everything that you already know from your uh, LibreOffice desktop version, and you can do it online. So you can do this really, uh, you can do this, you can go, 
you know, you can go nuts with it. You can use it to, to um, you know, to communicate a lack of data. Uh, you know, it's quite useful uh, in accounting again. Uh, but uh, this is uh, this extends also to the to the charts uh, and all the advanced uh, features uh, that you can you can use in the charts. Not only uh, the type of chart, but all the other options uh, that it's uh, available again uh, just in your browser. Uh, table of contents. It's also something that we have been. Uh, when we talk with, with, with people that use uh, the software, uh, be that students, uh, researchers, they, it's, it's something that it's really important to them. So it's, it's important not only to uh, personalize your, your table of contents, but things like uh, styles. Yeah? It's, uh, anything is about styling, right? We, we are talking about Office Suite. Uh, and this is also available um, online. Now, uh, design, it's, it's not just about, um, again, aesthetic, icons, uh, little tweaks. Uh, it's also about visual cues, right? Uh, small, f small feedbacks, um, uh, reactive and active, meaning that uh, these visual cues that appear um, with your touch, while you are overing, uh, while you are tabbing, all these things that indicate how you how you should uh, work with the tool, and you it it kind of uh, it kind of avoids the need to read a manual, for instance, right? So we have been focused on that, uh, particularly uh, in. Uh, uh, when we're working with document, document margins, uh, when we are editing uh, shapes, objects, resizing, make the changing those handlers um, when on mobile, right, to, to, to be more ergonomic, but at the same time, um, uh, giving the feedback to things like commenting, tracking changes, uh, so we know who is commenting, we know who is answering to that comment. Um, and, and this leads me specifically to mobile, which I, I bet it's something that everyone is quite interested in, uh, right? Um, and we have been doing a lot of improvements um, to this. Not, not only uh, the rendering, that now it's HDPI, uh, uh, and before we, had, uh, we didn't have that, all right? Uh, which I think it's a big win, uh, but things like uh, editing the document uh, name right just by tabbing the, the name in the, in the toolbar and edit the, the, the file name and it's done. Um, but things like inserting shapes, uh, we, <laughs> you know, we didn't limit ourselves to basic shapes. You can insert any shape you want. And so these this small uh, things, uh, I do believe, uh, make a huge impact at the end, right? A at the end, the goal is that everything come together uh, and it it almost look magically, but it, it's not, right? Uh, we hopefully, uh, hopefully it, it, it looks um, and, and it feels easy to use. So this is an example of our uh, current ongoing uh, development uh, when talking uh, about uh, Calc Online. Um, and yes, as, and as you see, uh, we have just uh, we try to don't um, you know overpopulate any 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 of these toolbars with a lot of options. Uh, just a few of them. This is a uh, writer. Um, again, specific handlers when we are talking about uh, text selection, um, uh, different um, elements that make sense uh, when talking about mobile design guidelines. Uh, but at the same time, um, things like um, when we select any element, be that a text, an, uh, an object, a shape, uh, our classic uh, side pane or a sidebar, if, if you will, uh, that we know from, from the desktop, we need to come up with a better solution for, for, for mobile, right? In this case, uh, with, a, with a tab view, uh, but you will see later on um, that we have a slightly different solution when talking uh, on um, about tablets, right? Uh, because there we we have we do have uh, a bigger real estate, right? We have a bigger uh, real estate screen uh, to work with, um, and uh, again we really um, 
try to don't limit just by limiting, right? Because this would make our life easier, right? Because if we start to, 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 to kill many of the features just to be easier to implement on mobile, then yes, right? The, 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 the fun part, it's trying to make it powerful um, and challenging uh, while still uh, giving the option to the power user via mobile uh, to do everything, even inserting things like first author and all these uh, extra fields, right? Now, um, even though this talk is about Col Collabora Online, there is things that are connected with mobile that I really want to, to talk about. It. <laughs> uh, so, and that's what I, I was talking about uh, regarding the tablets. So, uh, Affinis is one of our great uh, partners. Um, so, um, they had this challenge, <laughs> uh, like, okay, this is, this is, really, this is really cool. We're about having something like this, uh, that it's uh, really native for iPad. <laughs> and we were like, okay, uh, let's do it. <laughs> um, and so, um, it's, it's, uh, we, we have been uh, improving this. It's an ongoing effort, but it, it, it does work and it's already as a, as a, as a beta in a, in a test flight mode. Um, and, this lead, and this leads us to uh, to all these elements. Uh, all these elements, it's a, a proof of concept that shows uh, that right now we are able to uh, switch our uh, type of theme uh, depending on the platform. So, in this, in this case, uh, uh, on iOS, we, we, did, uh, we did really from scratch a lot of elements to be uh, compliant with the um, iOS uh, ecosystem. It's something that it, sh it should improve, and it should. We, sh we are always eager to, to improve on that. But as you see, even complex uh, um, documents with a lot of sh charts and you know and data, you can you have all these good fun, all these advanced uh, features right from your uh, tablet, and that and I think that's great. Um, now uh, we don't forget. We didn't forget Android. Um, yeah, we didn't forget Android. Um, and thanks to a lot of m many of my colleagues, like Tor, Candy, and all the other fellows, uh, we are doing uh, big advancements on, on that area. Uh, I I even thought I had a video here, <laughs> uh, but it seems I kind of or got in another computer, so never mind. Maybe I will show you later. Sorry about that. Um, you know, but but it, it's already working. Rotation is working, so 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 that's great. And you see that you see that suddenly the handler is even not the same um, as in the other screens I showed. So you see that, and I did this on purpose. So you see the evolution. You know, I, I could just put all the final uh, screenshots here. Uh, but I think it's really interesting to see the progress, right? That uh, we really try to evolve and progress with each e iteration and with each conversation with our, um, with the people that really use. Um, um, yes, now, uh, but now when we go back to, uh, to uh, online on uh, desktop, uh, we couldn't, uh, forget about all these good features in the in the in the, in the side pane, uh, and even with these uh, little handlers, and every every of every single of these uh, elements allow you to access to uh, the advanced features uh, on on those uh, dialogues, on those pop-ups that normally are only accessible through the menus, right? Uh, and you you can access here. As you do, as you would, as you know already from uh, LibreOffice uh, online, so so uh, that that was a, a big win. Um, also, um, we uh, I'm not sure if I uh, spoke about it, but uh, we always have the information about how many users are viewing it in the document, and we even have a really cool feature <laughs> that I just remember now which is uh, follow the editor. So, um, if you press uh, uh, this little uh, triangle, and if there is more than one user, 
and this and this happens a lot in our meetings some someone is leading the meeting is writing uh, for instance either our tasks or or uh, the minutes of, of our meetings and you know normally there is pedro there not really writing nothing but wants to keep track of uh, you know what my boss is writing so i can just go there check the checkbox that says follow the editor and the document will always f on my perspective on my side will always follow the person that is writing and and that's great uh, which again goes back to that uh, duality between editing viewing viewing who is editing it's not just one way street right especially when we are talking about collaboration um, Oh yeah, that's cool. Um, widget theming, yes. So when I was talking about um, this possibility to have different uh, themes depending on the platform, that's exactly it. Right now, uh, uh, we, uh, we are building a native widget framework that really allows us, and, and, and that's our goal, that depending on the platform of, of the user, um, in the beginning, I was talking with this, uh, with this gentleman. He was saying that he had a Mac. Um, and, and that's it. A user, depending on his platform, is used to different user guidelines. He's, 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 dif he's, he's used to different uh, type of icon treatments, uh, different even elements, right? For instance, uh, um, on-off switchers uh, versus checkbox and how they are using different platforms, etc. And this allows us to cater that, to, to, to really specifically deliver an, an experience that is adjusted to that user. Uh, instead of trying to do something generic to anyone, it doesn't matter what the operating system you are using. Um, and I also choose this uh, screenshot because there is a lot of things you can do here. You know, you can do all these cool advanced features right online via your um, browser. And that, that, I think this is really cool. Um, and all these using standards as SVG. And that, that's, that's cool because then uh, we can, you know, we can, we can, we stand on, on, the, on the shoulders of the giant standards. And that this allows us then to you know, study how to improve performance, right? Uh, not, not only how to make these icons, uh, uh, you know, appear faster, but even the rendering of those icons. Um, yes. And then uh, there is a lot of pieces you can see. Uh, there is also a lot of information uh, that I would love to be able to explain to you. Uh, you know, but keep in mind, I'm just a designer. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm I'm just a designer. I do love to work um, for a company that helps uh, open source uh, projects, um, and not only helps but works with. Uh, I mean, that's why even our our T-shirt says that it's not just about us; it's us and the community, and hopefully it leads to more productivity. Does our name? Um, so I, I do love. To to work there, and there is a lot of things that we have been doing that might not be that um, uh, clear, uh, but you know, there is uh, many dialogues that were converted asynchronously, and this has a huge impact in the, in, in the end experience. Um, there is multi-window focus rework. There is, this, this one is quite a big one, improved PDF uh, rendering. Um, like, there is, and now I'm even remembering some, yes, the dialogue rendering time as well. Um, there is just uh, so uh, many things uh, that I really would love after this. If you can come uh, uh, to me, ask any question. I, I hope, hopefully, um, because I've been working yesterday night in a, in a build, trying to improve some other icons. So hopefully I didn't uh, screw up my build, so I can, I can even show you, uh, um, you know, how the things work, right? Not just static screenshots, so that will be great. Um, um, and something that uh, many people might forget about it is the copy-paste. And uh, again, in the beginning I was saying that is, it's not just about uh, you know, icons, aesthetic things. It's also about the user flows, right? And the copy-paste 
it's it's a nice one. <laughs> it's a, it's a funny user flow because uh, right now this is the old style how you do it. You copy, you paste, and this would would basically trigger this uh, text import uh, in Calc, right? Um, right now, this is what we have, and that's really cool. You just select, copy, paste, bang. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it, and it is, this is you know it's uh, it seems uh, it's it's one of these things that um, initially um, might not sound that visual, might not sound that appealing, but this is so great, especially when you compare uh, with how the others are doing. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is this is awesome. Uh, this is a big win here, um, uh, and even you know. Yes, and even not not only even how Office does, you know, uh, and and other things. And again, as as I said before, um, we do work, um, you know, uh, very closely uh, with the community. Uh, we go to uh, LibreCons. Uh, if you don't know, it's LibreOffice conference. Um, we have a lot of friends there. Uh, you know, there's a lot of other. Uh, people that we can talk, we can drink with, um, and often we even come up with solutions. Um, uh, you know that uh, it's a win-win for everyone. I mean, so it's a win-win-win uh, for 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 everyone. Um, you know, so we we do have a lot of fun. We try to uh, we always give back to the community, um, and and at the end, you know. I just like to work here, basically. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you more. <laughs> um, so I, hopefully I was not, uh, um, went that fast. Uh, I also didn't want to bore you. Uh, but thank you for your time. Uh, and if you have any question, you can ask me, or then you can just talk with me. You know, I have all the time in the world. Uh, hopefully we can do this over coffee. That will be great. Yeah, and by the way, um, you know, thanks for uh, being here. Thanks for listening. You really rock. Yes. So my question is a very practical one. Um, mm -hmm. So we want to collaborate with Collabor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of yes. course. And uh, how, how, I don't know if you, t if you touched that because we were just arriving from lunch. No problem. Um, it's always difficult, right, after lunch. I understand. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I, w I would like, at least it's, it seems like a, an honest question to do. Uh, no, go ahead. How, how do, imagine I don't know anything about open source, but I, I want to improve that tool and I want to give feedback. What are the possibilities a normal, non-techie person can... Uh, That's a great question, yes. Yeah, can, can collaborate with Collabora and uh, uh, what, what is expected to uh, achieve with that? Okay, I think I got it, but then at the end you kind of lost me because it, it. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was afraid it was more ph philosophical. <laughs> so um, yes, uh, I have this uh, link. Oh yeah, I forgot about it. Sorry. Uh, I have this link here for a reason. So. There's a lot of information on our website, but this specific link, it's, it's quite important because, you know, uh, everything is open source. So basically, you can uh, go towards this link. This is our development edition. Uh, you can play with it. I do believe we even have snapshots of it, quite uh, late snapshots, um, you know, quite uh, updated, if, if you will. So you can, you can play with it. And then you can, I mean, we are more than thankful. After playing, and if you want to uh, give feedback, um, we are really thankful. Uh, and more than that, if you even want to talk directly with us, feel free. You just after this, just come to me. And I, I, I or again, everything is is there. 
but you know we can you can just write us an email um, we, you can also find us in many conference like the uh, LibreOffice conference but in your case I understand but it's a slightly there is a caveat there right because you, you, you did mention a person that is really away from this open source world so yes so uh, yes let's let's refocus yes so um, but it's quite yes so maybe don't go to this link <laughs> because it's uh, slightly technical uh, you know uh, Yes, sorry. It is as if I was talking to a developer. So, um, hmm. basically, talk with me afterwards. <laughs> um, you can basically talk directly with me. Uh, I know via Twitter and other contacts I can give you then. <laughs> um, and uh, you can also use our emails if you have a a any feedback uh, you want to use, or if you want to be even a. a a beta testing user, right? So there, there is, you know, there is a lot of possibilities, uh, right? I just don't want to give you a very concrete path because guess what? There is none. There is not a very concrete path. It depends on what the other person wants to help or test, right? Um, I'm not sure if I answered the question. Second question. You did. Yeah, okay. And nice. there is a lot of uh, opportunity to improve there. Because most of our uh, open source initiatives, and I've been in community since, uh, well, the first time I installed Linux was in 94. Yeah. Uh, it was Slackware. Mm. And it was very, very difficult. I had no opportunity to give feedback. Zero. Yes. And the and, project and even cannot I, progress, I understand. Right. If I wanted to, it would be so techy that I, w I, I was not, by that time, I didn't have a degree on... on Engineer, not, nothing. Like, I just wanted to test it, right? So when I say there is a lot of opportunity, uh, I don't know if uh, the people here saw my SRE uh, talk in the morning. It all always goes in this way. Development, launching, operations. And the development part, m most of the times, is, is not really catching the feedback loop Definitely, exactly. That you have to have on DevOps. Yeah, yeah. And DevOps applies to everything. This this has DevOps. Mm -hmm. you, 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 we should not think that DevOps is a thing that, oh, it only applies to big companies. That's not for sure. Yeah. Because you have to have a feedback loop. Make sure to have always the feedback loop to always include your customers. And the customers is the people that use it. Uh, that's how open source survives. That's I how mean, what, we do what good you are, marketing. Yeah, right? what you are describing, I'm quite familiar. It's user experience. <laughs> right. It's not only user experience. It no, no, it's 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 not uh, exclusively uh, just to to, to right. that field. Definitely. Okay. Increase so, uh, the feedback loop. That's. That I I be. do understand, and it's it's again it's this. Uh, that's why I was keep saying I'm not sure if you were already here, but that's what I was keep saying about the iterations, right? That there was even many screenshots that on purpose. I have it from different um, versions, so it's even visible how we iterate uh, over over feedback. Small, again, small things like, uh, or small things. It might look small to the developers, like changing the language of the document. <laughs> there is already a menu entry. Why we should recreate? Blah blah blah. But you know, over this this feedback, suddenly we, with even something that is not was not that um, hard to, to do. But it's uh, you know quite appreciated to the in the other end in the in the, in the end user end right so um, and w and which uh, sorry and which uh, distro you use or which uh, OS you use sorry today uh, today no I'm asking because uh, then I for instance if you use um, you know uh, Ubuntu or Debian or Fedora or I think CentOS or something like this. I think we already have uh, uh, packages that it's even possible to 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 uh, to test. I think just going uh, to that link, if I'm not mistaken, um, that's what I'm saying. That you can even already test, and you can then give 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 us feedback, and we are more than welcome, right? Because as you said, who is uh, you know who, who is winning here is it's. It's our side, right? Because you are giving free feedback, 
So definitely, and I really appreciate not only your question but your, you know, your intentions. Uh, attention! <laughs> I, I don't want to get. It. Someone wants to make another question. Uh, no, we yet. have time. You can but, ask whatever you want, and then the we can talk is, with other people. The thing <laughs> is, um, uh, some while ago I was talking to uh, uh, Drop Solid, uh, not not Drop, uh, Agile Drop, which is a company they they try in Drupal which is a content management system. They try yes, to include more of the community by writing blogs, by writing documentation, uh -huh. and so on and so on. And we do also that, yes. Yeah. And uh, one of the biggest things uh, is reaching out to people that actually are not aware of Drupal. They don't know Drupal. They, they mm -hmm. are not techie. Mm -hmm. They are like I was in the 90s. Uh, just because I got a, a, a CD-ROM <laughs> from a magazine, I said, Let, let's test this. Why not? I have free time, right? Um, and curiosity, right? So and curiosity. Yeah. So, so, yeah, you went directly to the point. <laughs> Raise curiosity here because this is a very, very important project. I think that uh, our office initiative in terms of open source to survive in the future, it needs this. Like, this is... If we don't have this, uh, we don't have anything. We need something that actually is able to give option for Google Docs or Microsoft Excel Online or whatever. Um, we need that option. People need that option. I was talking to him. He said he's going to use this on his uh, own uh, next cloud. I have a next cloud at home in my server, but this this. I, I never went to actually install it because it seemed a, a little bit confusing the way it's it's being described. And I'm techy right now, not in the 90s. Uh -huh, okay, I'm, I'm going to stop my no, but uh, two, but that two, that, that, that la conversation. No, no, no. But that <laughs> that last part, no. But it, that's it. There is really no questions and answers. There are just conversations. So this last bit was really important because th that last bit means one thing. We need to improve our communication. <laughs> and it's not just this, and we are aware of it. We are, look, uh, just here between us that no one else is, is listening. Uh, the, 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 Don't worry. Don't I know. Worry. There, is, there is, we are aware, you know, the problem is that we are a bunch of fun boys. And the problem with this is that sometimes we are so focused on doing what we like <laughs> that we forget to communicate how to call things we just did. Uh, you know, and these even, uh, it's not just about uh, communicating, but even promoting the things and stuff like this. And yes, we are aware of it. Uh, and oh, and sorry, I forgot about one thing. I just, I just realized. Um, we are hiring, by the way. So uh, again, you are, you are really helping me a lot. You, uh, this presentation is not just me, it's me and you. So uh, we are hiring. So um, you know, um, in, the, in the field of communication, um, but also uh, any, uh, in all the other fields. So if you think you can help us with, uh, you know, don't be shy. I have an idea. Why don't you create, well, we did just this, uh some months ago, and uh -huh. it, it, it was like a very big thing, but it was easy to do. Uh -huh. uh, we created a, a pitch deck, mm -hmm. right? And since, it's, since it's, this is an office, why don't you actually start creating a pitch deck hmm. that includes all of the success stories in, that, in those slides? We have, we, yeah. we, we do have, that is a problem, is that uh, it and was... And it's contributed. Open it uh, understand, to, free understand. to the public. Uh, we so ha we, we, ha we have, in many presentations, we, we did this. Uh, you know, but I was battling with myself yesterday night <laughs> because this presentation has many versions. And the first version was very fanboyish. And I, did, I didn't want to look that, oh, it looks that I'm selling something. No, no, delete, delete. Then I did something very... Um, Insipid, without uh, personality, right? And then I come up with something that hopefully it's uh, a balance. And I didn't want to show like 
you know, names of clients like, uh, you know, banks, uh, uh, MD, and these big guys that uh, is our customer. Don't customers. worry, sell it, sell it, sell <laughs> it. Don't, don't worry. Yeah. It, it, that's marketing. We that, need marketing. Exactly, for, for exactly. exactly. Yeah, you we are right. Names, right. We need brands, we need, we need all of it. Don't, don't get scared with that because actually the world is moving to open source. And, and that's great. Yeah. That's great. You know, like, so we, we are on that boat. That's great. Right? Okay. That's awesome. No, thank you. <laughs> but then I really like this conversation. You see, any more questions? It's, it's awesome. I like this. And you know, we can always keep these conversations outside. Yeah. So go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I would like to bring it more a little bit to the technical thing about but keeping mm -hmm. the scope. Hopefully, I'm I'm able to we, answer we because I, again, I'm not already, developer. Um, but like, just maybe also for the rest of the people. I mean, we talked about installation, you know, and for me it's interesting, you know, how can we do a setup, how can we maintain the setup, you know, in the long run. So far I see there are Docker images to consume, yeah? Not everybody is into this uh, Docker thingy, you know? Some people like other tools more, and Podman or whatever. But like um, going, as it is a Ubuntu conference, you know, I mean, Docker is something we host on Ubuntu, but it's not the main thing. Um, I just looked up like the, the websites. I didn't found much uh, basically documentation about mm -hmm. installing it without Docker. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you assume that we will approve a bit that we, for example, do it with packages, you know? The, so because uh, just like, for example, my use case was a, I would throw that in a LXD container somewhere. I don't okay. want to have a stateless container. I want to have a stateful container. I want to throw it in there at best being able to do something like automated updates if you got security releases or something, and then have that somehow you know set up and somehow like on an easy going maintenance in the long run. Um, but so far for documentation, I didn't find anything and in this direction. It was mm -hmm. a lot of showcases, both on Nextcloud side and on your own side. On LibreOffice uh, side, I didn't find anything as well. Do you think that is something that we will improve on this basically yes. those installation methods, or is that something? And it already comes then basically with the support contract. Yes, my friend, <laughs> I understand what you mean. Uh, so there are many questions. Definitely, yes. You know, each one is its own individual person. So, of course, we are not into the same thing. So it makes proper sense that each one, not only, it's it's not that you are into these things, it's that even your needs are different, right? So, you, you yeah, Docker, maybe doesn't make sense for you. I, I get this. Um, if there is if there is any lacking information in in particular in in this uh, page, uh, I do believe that we also uh, because we we try to be um, we try to deliver updates uh, via our blog. So I, every single uh, version that is all these things, we I, th I have the feeling we even have a button at the end of of these new versions. If not, if not. Uh, feel free either to talk with me afterwards or send directly a, 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 an, an email and they will answer you, you know, if not instantly, uh, probably uh, Eloy or Cor, one of my colleagues, not uh, an instant answer, uh, will answer you or at least this day, yeah, and they will, they will, you know, they, they will even ask probably, you know, what's your needs and how it will be even better, right, instead of just giving a, a generic alternative uh, you know, solution. Uh, so, uh, bottom line is that we are flexible, right? You just talk with us. It's exactly what he was saying, right? It's, it's about this uh, ongoing conversation. And this ongoing conversation, uh, it's not just on one side. <laughs> we need to, to dance. Would you like to dance? Maybe, maybe not. You see? You see, he, 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 he hear dance, and he, he's like, oh, mm, there is a party. I like that all this is being recorded. Um, <laughs> no, it's totally, it's totally, definitely, it's, yeah, yeah. De definitely, you understand, my friend. We already know each other, so I, I, I understand. I, 
I, and you are, you, are burn, you are slightly grinding me here. So I got it. I, I know that you love that. Um, you know, it's open source. You can compile it. So you should be thankful, let's say, at the same time. But definitely package, but definitely package. I, you know, I don't, the thing is, I, uh, I don't want to say anything that then maybe I'm not 100% sure about it. Because again, I'm not a developer. So I really cry for you, Argentina. But, uh, but then, you know, uh, I, I think any one of my colleagues will uh, give you the proper answer. And I, man, I do believe that we have package, but I'm not 100% sure, right? Because, you know, I don't use them. You know, I just compile, I build, I, I need to do changes. So, you know what I mean? You understand? So, thanks for your uh, understanding. I don't want to, to interrupt, but... No, I we know, have to I know. move on to the I next understand. Stuff. It's like a telenovela. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, thanks. thanks.